Hi, I'm Evan with Rising Tide Explorers. Today I'm going to teach you how to grow a mangrove at home. It's a fun, easy, and educational activity. Red mangroves are salt-tolerant trees that live along the coast of tropical areas. Their dense prop roots hold the shoreline together, preventing coastal erosion, as well as provide coastal communities with protection from storm surge from hurricanes. The submerged roots provide a great hiding place for small fish and other animals during high tide, and a great perch for wading birds to fish from when the tide is low. Other birds use them to rest, while raccoons may use them to access oyster reefs. Osprey will use mangroves as a perch to eat their fresh catch. And the mangrove true crab lives on the branches and eats the leaves. Have you ever seen these floating around the water or washed up at the beach? This is a mangrove sapling also known as a propagule, and this is what you'll be looking for when you go out searching for a mangrove to plant. Propagules grow from the fruit of the mangrove until they're fully developed. The propagule will then float in the water and ultimately take root on oyster reefs or sandy or muddy bottoms. You should avoid taking propagules from these areas. But sometimes mangroves will wash up in areas where they won't take root, like sandy beaches, boat ramps, or coastal hiking trails. If you come upon mangrove propagules in these areas, feel free to take a few. Before you go out to collect a propagule, make sure you have everything you need. You'll need a moist paper towel to wrap your propagules in after collecting them. You can use a jar, vase, or pot to plant your mangrove. Just make sure there's no drainage holes. When it comes to the potting mixture, you have a lot of options. Use soil, sand, pebbles or shells to recreate the mangrove's natural environment in your pot. And most importantly, you'll need plenty of fresh water. So now after you have your propagule, you're ready to plant it. After you've selected your container, you'll want to add the shells or pebbles Next, plant the end of the propagule a few inches into the substrate. And now, fill up with water all the way to the top. And there you go. If you decide you want your mangrove to grow larger, use the pot with the 50-50 mixture of sand and soil. And again, fill up all the way with water. Well, after you've planted your mangroves, set them out in the sun, and in a few weeks, you'll start to see growth. You'll also want to use a little bit of inorganic fertilizer mixed in with the water from time to time. You'll also want to change out the water whenever you see it getting cloudy with algae and getting green. That'll keep your mangroves nice and healthy. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Check back with us again for more fun and educational videos. Or if you want to explore with us, go out on one of our guided kayak or boat tours. Or you can go out yourself with one of our kayak rentals. See you next time. Keep exploring.